Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Black Clover, episode 51. Um, yeah, they are not gonna get any rest. <laughs> Cause, um, they just got back from the underwater temple, and now it's gotten picked up again. Well, we get to see what Gordon's been up to, he's been kind of moping the whole time. Ow. My neck is hurting, sorry. Anyway. Yeah, he's moping. And, uh. At first I thought he was creepy, but I was like, hey, poor guy just wants friends. And if he would speak up, the others would know that. Why he doesn't speak up, I don't know. And, um. Out of every magic knight in the Black Bulls that we've seen so far, he's the only one that we have not seen his magic for. At first, I was thinking that his magic has something to do, you know, with the voice, because that's why he talks so low, which is to preserve his voice for his magic, which would make sense. Maybe we'll see his magic in, uh, not the witch's forest one, not the queen of the witches thing, but... I'm guessing the arc after that is probably the next, is the one we'll get to see Gordon's magic. Because if we go this whole show and don't get to see his magic, I'll be like, why? Anyway. <sighs> Sorry. I actually had some Black Clover videos I could upload. I, just have to, I have to edit this one first before I can upload it. But I actually did have some black clover, so I figured I might as well get it up. Anyway, everybody's getting back, and like I said, he's kind of, um, he's mumbling the entire time, and no everybody is very confused as to what the heck he's talking about. I mean, all you'd have to do would be to get real close to him, and listen, and you could hear what he's saying. Because he's not mute completely, he just mumbles very, very low, but he, mum but he does talk. I mean... Why has nobody been able to tell what this guy has been saying? Anyway, most everybody that's there ends up going straight to sleep. And yami has got to report to the Wizard King what they found out, and I'm assuming deliver the magic stone that they got from the underwater temple. And Asta wants to go, Charmy wants to go, and Fenrir ends up going anyway because he's got the whole portal thing. And, uh, yeah, they essentially tell him what happened once they get there, and Venerable runs off, searching for girls, of course. And before they can even, uh, get a chance to relax, they get a message from, I can't even remember the guy's name, his the Wizard King's assistant guy. That the village on the border between the Clover Kingdom and the Diamond Kingdom is under attack by the Diamond Kingdom. And, uh, they see a few generals, and the purple orcas that are there are trying to put up a barrier, but that barrier gets easily swatted aside. Thankfully, they have re enemy reinforcements, or uh, they have reinforcement show up, which is, you know, squad, and, uh, Fenrir's brother. And, uh, Captain Vengeance. Um, could somebody tell me, does Captain Vengeance have a four-leaf clover book, or does it just look, is it just, is it just a spell book that looks similar? Because it looks like a four-leaf clover book to me, but I couldn't really tell. Could somebody let me know, please? But yeah, Yami offers to go and help, because, you know, they don't know if any of the other Magic Knights would be able to go and help at this point, and they're the only ones available at the moment. Asta obviously wants to go, because, you know, he wants to help, and he obviously wants to see Yuno in action, even up close, and find out how things have been going for him. And obviously Charmy wants to go, because she wants to- the only reason she wants to go is so she can see Yuno. That's the only reason she wants to go. And the funny thing is, is that apparently you know named that little spirit Bell, like as in Tinker Bell, and you know uses wind magic and he flies, so it's kind of a parallel for Peter Pan. 
sort of. Except, you know, it doesn't go fly enough to never land. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, you know is his usual self, and Belle's kind of, um, ticked off about that because he apparently never smiles and is so, well, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you know takes out one of the generals easily. And, uh, the others end up obviously helping with most of taking care of all the people that are injured. And, uh, thankfully, you know, and Asta is, uh, able to go, even though obviously he can't fight, but he does offer to evacuate. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, off they go to look for Fenrir. Here's hoping they find him, though I don't think it takes very much to find him. Anyway, yeah. I did notice the same guy from before that the uh, Austin then fought in the dungeon, the smoke guy, that was there as well. And I was like, oh yeah, I recognize him. Because I know that there are people in this world, in the opposite kingdom, the enemy kingdom, that aren't really bad people. And then there are people that are in their kingdom that are obviously pricks. Uh, one of them being, or uh, a bunch of them being Noel's siblings. And another, Fendel's brother. What is up with everybody being related to people that are jerks? And, uh, Vanessa's mother is the Queen of the Jorks. But that's for the next arc. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I'll get this everything edited and uploaded, and I'll see y'all next time.